do you want? I bleed blue. What can I tell you? Since when do you bet hockey? Hey, the Turks have a deep affinity for the sport of hockey. My uncle Uncle was a superstar back in the day. They have hockey in Turkey? Yes, they have hockey in Turkey. We practically invented it. Except they didn't have ice. And they'd, uh, you know, instead of pucks, they used human heads. Oh. It's the same idea. Oh, man, I thought we were rough here. Whew. What's going on here? All right, you take the guy on the ground. I can see if I can distract this guy. OK. Hey. Hey, hey, yo, yo. Hey, whoa, whoa. relax, relax. Come here, man. You OK? Can you move? Come here. Come back. Come back to me. She is. Hey. hey, Toby! Off after random psychos and then walking back like nothing happened. Well, relax, man. I thought I recognized the guy. Doesn't he look like a patient that we brought in once? A guy like that, I think you would have remembered. Uh, okay, what about the, the, the who is she? Tell me who she is stuff. That guy didn't say a word. All right, okay, the guy's distraught. Nine times out of ten, it's a girl. I got news for you. That guy's biggest problems are not the ladies. Forget about that. You know, hanging out with you gets a little creepy sometimes. Yeah, it's mutual. Do your job. We'll see the ambulance. looks like that. Yeah, it looks like he's having a seizure or something. <laughs> he's not having a seizure. Yeah, well, you're the doctor. Yeah, well, you know him better than I do. Really? Yeah. And you were together how long? Hi, Toby. Hey, hey, hey. 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 What's up? What's going on? Were you guys talking about me? What? No, 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 we were doing our own thing. I have work to do. Right. So bra I can wear brown with black, but not Yeah, right. blue? No. OK. Liv, Liv, uh, I want to know what you're no. doing. What do you hey, that's not even fair. I haven't even asked a question yet. You're, you're going to ask me out. Hey, yes, you can read my mind. So where would you like to go? I said no. No? Because? Because I just don't think it's a good idea. It's just dinner. Yeah, it's just, it was just dinner then, and then it was one drink afterwards, and then before I knew it, I was neck deep in a relationship. All right, okay, if it's not dinner, how about a drink? We'll go, we'll say we're gonna order, we'll get the bread, we'll get the hot peppers. I'll think about it. Yes. Please just let me out of here. <laughs> Please let me out of here. Let me out of here. Hey, buddy, what are you checking out? 
Uh, we're gonna add addresses here. Oh yeah, who for? I don't know. You don't know? No. Uh, well, I'm looking for this girl. She's uh, she, she's not gonna be. She's missing. Right. So, yeah, her mother and father. I'll talk to them. And they are. I don't know. Of course. Yeah. Good talk. Yep. It's a long shot. I get it. Okay, so let me get this straight. You, some street kid mumbles, Ashley needs help. You see a missing poster, and I'm supposed to get all the dogs out on a six-month-old missing person case. All right, you find this kid. He's the center of everything. Yeah, you think. Come on, haven't I been right before? What's your interest in this girl? I don't know. I saw the poster, and there's something about her. A young girl disappearing like that. Oh, that's... It's weird. I know. I, I was going to say sweet. All right, I've done my research. Her name's Ashley Higgins. She was reported missing six months ago. Her mother dropped her off downtown, and she disappeared into thin air. Family claims that she was abducted. Look, Toby, I know you're a sensitive guy, but you need to understand. She sounds like a thousand other runaway kids. Just hard for the family to accept. Yeah, it's not just the family. All right, so you guys don't know where he is? You haven't seen this kid? Yeah. No? All right, thank you. It's all about precision, ladies and gentlemen. Executing your tasks to the maximum of your ability. Excellent shot, sir. Very nice. Don't do that to me, Mr. Bay. Do what, sir? I was merely complimenting you on your form. It was a great shot. See, the only time you ever compliment me is when you want to ask for some time off or you have some pet. You didn't damage any of my rolling stock, now, did you? No, 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 sir. It's all. It's all rolling. Okay. Good. I, I did want to have a word with you, though. It's actually about a friend. What's the problem? Well, you see, he kind of zones out, you know, and gets this look, and... and I know that EMS has access to psych counseling. Yes, that's right, to help you deal with the pressure and the stress of the profession. Right. Yeah, ain't no shame in that. No. Yeah, I mean, because, you know, that's what it's there for, right? Right. In times of trial and tribulation. Exactly. I mean, just because somebody goes there doesn't mean that they're mentally... Compromise. No, not right? at all. Yeah. Yeah. So if you could arrange something, so that, that would really mean a lot to me. Yeah, I'll hook you up, okay? I mean, it's for a friend, you know, so. Okay. Okay. Miss Higgins. Last Mr. Logan. Toby. Thank you for seeing me. Yes, come in. Thank you. Can I go out and shoot some hoops, Mom? Andrew, I told you, you never go out front unless Mom's with you. Okay. Come on, honey. You know, the police think that Ashley ran away. She didn't run away. Yeah. If only I hadn't let her go on her own. You can't be everywhere, Woods. There's gotta be a point where you gotta let your children go out on their own. You said you might know something about her whereabouts? Yeah. I was downtown the other day and I ran into a street kid and he gave me this. And I was wondering, is it Ashley's? It was her grandmother's. 
I gave it to her on her 13th birthday. Oh, my God. Follow this up in every way we can. I want to thank you for coming in today. And I promise you that we will do everything we can to find your daughter. Thank you. Take care. Somebody comes to you with a lead and you yeah. turn them down. It wasn't a lead. It was a hunch. And he didn't have the bracelet. He just had some street crazy who said someone named Ashley was in trouble. Okay, well, now you're in trouble. And your only way is to find that girl. And you. Yes. You should keep feeding your friend here more hunches. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Thanks. You're welcome. You're welcome. Uh, you know this isn't my fault? If you found the bracelet that you thought belonged to the missing girl, you should have brought it to me. If I had brought you in some random piece of jewelry, would you have believed me? That doesn't matter. So we both agree this is important and it may lead us to Ashley. Look, I know you've helped me out before, but how is it that you just happen to meet some street crazy, then you see Ashley's missing poster, and assume it's her, and then you find the missing bracelet? All right, I went looking for the kid. I found him, I followed him, he dropped the bracelet, I was just following lead. Following leads? Hmm, okay. So what else do you have? Nothing. That, that's all I got. Come on. No, that's it. That's the whole story. Cross my heart. Why is it that every time you tell me the whole story, I still feel like there's some other whole story? It's because I don't want to take the mystery out of our relationship. left it for me. Secret admirer? Something like that. Lift, 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 lift. Mm -hmm. You haven't made a decision about dinner. I thought I had. Oh, just give it a try. I can be there. Is this really about me? What do you mean? I mean, hasn't it occurred to you that you've been acting a little off lately? No. Even Oz thinks that... What does Oz say? What Nothing. does he say? No? It doesn't matter. Come on, what is Oz telling you that he's not telling me? That he cares about you. Okay, that's good. I don't want to hear that. You've been acting obsessive and mysterious. Liv, maybe I am mysterious. Give me one hour at Peter Pan for some good wine and a chance to sweep you off your feet. Do not push your luck. One glass of wine, good conversation. One more drink. This day's dragon. Now, oh, here we go. Hey. Hey. Macworld. What? I read people. You're looking for Macworld, right? No, no, no. I'm looking for a street kid. Reddish hair, wild eyes, doesn't really talk much. Mmm, Johnny Rotten. Oh, you know him? Well, the kids on the street call him Taz. I call him Johnny Rotten. You know, same monkey face, same hair. Man, I chase him out of here a couple of times a week. Why you do that? What's he you, what's you doing? He steals. You know, the weird part is he mostly takes teenage girl rags, you know? Cosmo, L-Girl, Regaza. You know where I can find him? A couple of kids seen him hanging at a warehouse over on Wallace Street. Hey! Hey! I'm looking for a kid named Taz. I've never heard of him. Street kids do that? Middle class kids. Too much time on their hands and no talent. You guys run out space here? It's only storage lockers. You think I could check one of them out? Well, I'm kind of busy at the moment. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm sorry. It's just, you know, my girlfriend, she kicked me out. She put everything on the sidewalk. You know, I just hope it's still there when I get back. 
this way. They're all pretty much the same. Six by 12, metal doors, drywall, wood floors. Seen one, seen them all. This guy's just wasting their time. He doesn't need to see a locker. Hey, the locker's not puppies. Life sounds. What do you think? Do you have any break-ins or homeless people sleeping in the basement? Are you with the city or something? No, it's just I was walking by here the other day and I thought I saw someone coming out. People come by here all the time. He was this red-haired kid with wild eyes. Never seen anyone here like that. Sure, come on in, your seat. Lunch. What's up, sir? Uh, it's about your problem. My problem? Oh, you mean my friend's problem? Sure, sure. Can you uh, tell Dr. Melcher here about your uh, blackouts, your dizziness, and your episodes of inattention? Yeah, sure, Doc. Well, it's it's like I told you, sir. It's uh, well, my friend just sort of spaces out, and and then it's like he. He knows things that people are thinking. Almost like he's reading people's minds. Reading your mind, even. Exactly. So you think he can help? Oh, I think you and I are going to have a nice long talk. Oh, good. Good. Don't tell me. We're canvassing the neighborhood for a police charity initiative. Actually, no. Uh, I'm just asking questions at places that street kid might have been. Look, Toby, I know you're going to investigate on your own anyway, but I'd really appreciate if you stay out in my job. Yeah, absolutely. It's the last thing on my mind. Wow, this is quite the display you've got here. It's making me hungry just looking at it. That's the idea. Listen, I've been talking to a few people in the area saying that there's some teenage kid trying to break in. You know anything about that? This kid has got red hair. He acts like he's crazy. Doesn't talk much. A kid like this, he's always stealing things. I mean, I can see how he can frustrate you to the point where you want to hurt someone. A lot of people would understand that's the only thing I can do. Look, maybe I did see the kid. He's in here all the time trying to steal boxes of candy. You guys should be watching. Sorry. Getting there for second thoughts about tags. Yeah, me too. I can't wait to get my hands on him and give him an ass kicking. No, nah, he's stealing chocolates, jewelry, magazines. I think it's for the girl. Whether he's holding her or not, I still want him. Got that, partner? Loud and clear, all right. Thank you. Wanted to see me, sir? Oh, yeah. Evidence of disassociation from reality believes his thoughts are being read by other people. 
Blythe attitude might hide a combination of potential neurosis. Okay, now this doctor was completely off. See, I feel somehow responsible, Mr. Bay. For what? It's me, isn't it? Is it what you? The one you think who's reading your thoughts is me. Well, as a matter of fact, you see, I know I may give that impression. It's just that I have to stay on top of you guys. I'm running the department here. I gotta know what you guys gonna do even before you do it. Right, right. But you don't have to worry. Because if I could read thoughts, I sure as hell wouldn't bother with yours. Well, I find that insulting and yet strangely comforting at the same time, sir. All those group homes, all the families, I think, uh, it's like I've been looking for something permanent, something that I could hold on to. How do you always know just what to say? Sometimes that scares people off. I am just trying to figure out what's going on in your head. All right. You know what would have helped us? It was more times like this. No cell phones, just talking and trying. Yeah. Maybe you're right. Maybe you can do this. I want to go home. Tell me what's wrong. What's the matter? Hey. Okay, Liv, I know this sucks. I'm sorry, but I have to go. I'll call you later. Marks that the guy she's looking for is in the Wall Street parking garage. Hey, I know you're scared, man. I just want to help you. I know about the girl. I know you don't want to hurt her. Help her. You're not holding her, are you? Help her. I know you can hear me. How do you know about me? Changes. I'm fine. So what is it about this kid? I just want to talk to him. You think he's connected to this missing girl? How far apart are your contractions now? I don't know. Liv, sorry. I just want to stay here, okay? So... Okay. Good night. Good night. Um, and earlier? Good night. You like your new brother? What are we going to name him? I don't know. What do you think?
Go. Hide. You don't look so good, Maya. Leave us alone. Where's the other one? He's gone. Where is he? a telepath. If you're thinking it's because he's a telepath, too, you're wrong. Well, that's the only way he could know, right? This is his file. Thick. He's been hearing voices for seven years. You see? He's not a telepath, Toby. He's a paranoid schizophrenic. Vivid auditory hallucinations, non-cooperative regarding medication, in and out of institutions. Sorry. <laughs> I was really hoping that uh, I finally met someone like me, Ray. You look exhausted. Yeah. You know, I had a brother. You mean you dreamed you had a brother? No, I remember I had a brother. Don't go there, Toby. Why not? I can't give you a really good reason, but... Did you know him? No. Honestly. I only knew about your mother. Why do you want me to not know where I came from? Because I care about you. Is that why you keep me in the dark? The man who brought you to me was afraid. He was afraid for himself. And he was afraid for you. What? He didn't say. Well, that's great. I was worried about the moment when you'd start asking questions. I'm not gonna lie to you. Well, it's not like you could, right? <laughs> so, tell me about this brother of yours. Sweetheart, it's time to go now, okay? Where? Somewhere safe. Somewhere where we won't be bothered. So, I'm just gonna open up the door now, okay? Okay. Good girl. thinking you and I were a family. How's he doing? That's a good question. I don't think any of us are going to find out anytime soon. Is he that bad? He's a phonic. I've never heard the term before, but it denotes the inability to speak. They tell me he's been that way since birth. It's funny how he was able to tell you that Ashley was in trouble, right? I just know what I heard. Mm. And I just know I wasted a lot of time chasing a lead that might not even exist. I still think he knows about the girl. Based on what? If you're wrong, why don't you just say it? Do me a favor, the next time you have these feelings, keep them to yourself. Don't be scared. I'm not gonna hurt you. you. Think about where she is. Think about where Ashley is. Taz, I know no one listens to you. But I can. 
gotta help me out. Where's Ashley? Because I need to borrow your car. Why? Because I do, all right? Call Charlie Taylor to meet me at the storage locker near the Wall Street parking garage. Got that? No. Us. Us. You want my keys, you want my help, you're gonna tell me everything that's going on. All right, all right, when this is over, I will tell you everything. Thank you. Don't forget to call Charlie, it's important. Tells me that's the last thing you want to do. Back off now. I know she's in there, and I'm not leaving without her. <laughs> she's drowning. What are you talking about? Ashley, hang on! Leave my baby alone. Where the hell are you? I'm the guy who's gonna tell the cops that you never meant to kill her. She did this. She did this. It's her fault. It's her fault. After all, it's her fault, right? Right? She stabbed me in the back. After all I did for her. After all you did for her, she dreamed up a way to put you in prison for the rest of your life. Then you fall for it. You tricked me. Not my little girl. She made a mistake, that's all. Your little girl opened the door. It was you. In there with the chocolates. The hell with both of you. <laughs> Whatever you do, Donald, don't think about the combination of that lock. 23. Seven, 43.
Ashley. 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 Ashley, can you hear me? You're gonna be okay. You're gonna be okay. of Ashley Higgins. She's gone. Gone? Sir, would you please put down your weapon? It's over. Put down your weapon! Put down your... <laughs> Okay, Toby, let's talk. What do you want to talk about? Secret missions, the crazy looks, all the stuff you know that you shouldn't know. Toby, if you can't trust me with this stuff, I can't trust you, dude. Oz, uh, the reason that I know things that I shouldn't, and the reason I do things that don't make sense, it's because I can read minds. I know it sounds crazy. It sounds like you're messing with me, man. It sounds like you don't want to tell me the truth. No. Yeah, like, I don't feel nuts enough between Ryder and the report, and you know what? Is he man, messing with me? I can never tell what he's messing with me. People can't read minds. That's nuts. nuts. It's crazy. Wait, wait a minute. He's doing, he's it, doing right it right now. Oh, my God. I'm not oh God, crazy. I'm not crazy. I knew it. I, I knew was it. right. I'm right. not nuts. I was right. Wait till Ryder hears about this. Oh, my God. This is totally freaking me out. Don't be freaked out. Uh, so there's like one or two people that know about this. You know what? This is good. This is better. Because I can help you. 
I, you don't have to be alone on this. I could be your sidekick. All right, okay. Or you could be like the brains or the right hand man. Right hand man? Sure. I'm your right hand man. Yeah? Yes. All right. Yeah. You can't tell anyone though, right? Come on. Seriously, man. Completely serious. Dude, forget about it, okay? What power? Toby doesn't have any superpower, right? It's good. Yeah, it's great. Okay. Okay. Yes. Okay. But it's not gonna change your relationship. I got a question for you. Hey, you know that really tall girl no. in the what? No what? No. She, no. Hang, hang on. That's like the first thing you're gonna ask me. I just pink-haired want... girl in administration yeah, but, with the blue eyes. Yeah, with the blue eyes. <laughs>